Hey everybody, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you are having a fabulous weekend so far or week if you're watching this on Monday. I'm going to do a plan with me in my B6 daily for work. So this is, as you know, I'm a teacher. Um, if you've seen my videos before, if not, I'm a teacher. I'm a fourth grade teacher and this is my daily. I use it for all of my to-do items because goodness knows no matter what job, inside, outside the home, we all have a million things we're supposed to do. So I start off here, like I said, this is Penny Pages. It's a daily B6. I don't really use any of the monthly pages or anything like that um, because it is just this daily that I'm using. Let's find a monthly. They're great. I just don't think I really need them for anything. So I also take these and alter them a little bit. This is the journaling option. Um, I like it because it has this big empty column, which is where I put my to-do items, but I'm not journaling. So. I white that out to begin with. Okay, it actually worked out perfectly that I come to the end of a month because what I do is I just skip to the next and I use the next five days because obviously I only teach five days a week, so... I just need it for five days. All right, I've whited that out. I use the Tombow white out. I used to use a different kind and then Tanya from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. recommended this. Amazon, it's awesome. It's a great correction tape white out. I mean, I guess it's not white out. I still think, of, remember those, those little bottles that are black and white and you take it and you like get the extra off, but then sometimes you get all old and kind of crusty. Wow, that was probably a really long time ago <laughs> to tell you the truth. Hmm, I wonder how long ago that was. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and get the date covers put on. I'm using some $2 Tuesday sheets from uh, Sweet Kawaii Design and obviously my favorite stickers. Jennifer Tan is my PR code if you shop there. Um, awesome freebies this quarter, as usual, for PR, so make sure you collect them all. It's really fun. I'm using the full boxes and the date covers. That's really all I need in this planner because it's very, very functional. I like it to be just a little bit cute because, you know, it's okay to use planners without stickers. Of course it is. And sometimes I absolutely do because I don't have time to decorate. But if I do have time to decorate, um, it's way more fun to look at. So if I put the little dates on here and then I'll use this also in my B6 weekly to-do list planner at home, but probably more into June with this one. So I only need to go Monday through Friday because again, that's the school week. We, in my district, we have, let's see, we have 13 more days. We have this full week and then we have a four day week due to Memorial Day. And then we have a four day week because the last week of school is um, four days for the kids. I mean, technically, I guess I have five, but I don't really count that last, that last day is a work day for the teachers, you know, so we can f finish up, um, any of the paperwork. We do cum files and, you know, prepare our rooms for summer. Um, there's going to be a camp at our school over the summer. So, you know, getting things put away and, and locked up so that, things don't get disturbed and, and stuff like that. Camps usually do a, a pretty good job of that, but you still don't want to just, you know, leave everything out. And besides you wouldn't anyway, because the awesome custodial staff does a deep clean of the school. Um, in this case, because there's going to be camp, they'll do it after camp leaves. And you want everything put away and easy for them to do a nice big sweep and shampoo of the carpets and all that good stuff. Anyway, so I've got my date covers on and then I'm going to put little, I have a ton of extra to do stickers. So this is one of my reusable sticker books and I have, it's just kind of like all the numbers. I know it's ridiculous how much I keep in here, but I've got a ton of to do stickers. I like this font the best. So that is the one that I'm going to choose to use. So I get five of those. I don't really need to put these on. I mean, I guess I could just write it. I've done that before, or I wouldn't even really need to label it. There's also some really cute, ooh, I should pull those for next time. Some really cute little post-it ones that say to do. But for now, I'm just gonna use these. It is kind of nice to use the stuff that I've just been 
you know, for years putting into the sticker books. So it is nice to kind of go through some of that stash and clear up a little bit of room. And I feel good, like, okay, look at that. I did use the stuff that I didn't want to throw away. Okay, so we have that done. And then I need to pick some full boxes. So um, I don't want to use the Hello Summer because it is not summer yet, and at least for me, summer break. And I guess it's not technically summer yet, officially anyway. But I do love, like, Sunshine on My Mind is perfect. It's going to be really warm a couple days this week, and then it's going to cool back down, which is great. So I think I'm going to use, you know, Poe with his sunglasses and his kissy face, Sunshine on My Mind, Fun in the Sun, this little picnic. And I'm wondering if I can use this double box somewhere um, just to make it look super cute. So I like to kind of go in an alternating pattern. Let me just pull this off screen real quick so I don't show any kind of private information. But I do like to... Um, not put all the full boxes all in the same spot. I actually like them at the top the best, but if I put them all at the top, then I'm gonna get this huge hump and I've already got kind of like a bump here from all the date covers, so I don't want to do that. So I need to spread the love here on the positioning. So I try to go top, middle, and then bottom. Let's see, we'll do fun in the sun. These pastel colors are just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and the washi for this june kit is just i mean here let me show you so this is where i keep this is one of my two dollar tuesday albums let's see isn't that amazing i mean it's just oh it is so pretty so i don't use it in this planner because there's not really a place for it but when i use it in my cousin or in the weekly oh my goodness it's so pretty okay so well it's not really supposed to go at the bottom right now because i was at the top but whatever i'm gonna put it at the bottom because it's this cool double box and obviously for school i'm not doing anything on friday night so there we go that looks really cool i like that um, and today, this day is actually a minimum day because it's kind of time because we have the following week, following week, we have our celebration of learning our showcase. It's, it's open house, but we're trying to, we're calling it something different, we're trying to do something a little more interactive than just, you know, here's all my work, look at it, but here's some of the cool activities we did all year. This is my school album. So I thought I'd pull it out and think, okay, well, what could I use this week in here? to use some of my school stickers that I kind of forget about. You know, I have them all in this album and they're awesome. I've got a couple meetings this week. The minimum day, I'm kind of just looking. I don't have a staff meeting. <laughs> I wish I could use out of office. Early release, I could do that because it's kind of a different early release. We have early release technically every um, Wednesday. Uh, we have meetings and collaboration time and stuff like that. Uh, but that's normal. This is an abnormal early release, so that would be good there. I saw some meeting stickers. Oh, this out of office too. I love that one. Out of office, not my problem. I am ready for that to happen. Let's see, I've got meetings. Team meeting. We're gonna be working with our principal to do a little bit of work. Right in here. Let's see, I'll put that there. Ah, my gosh, that is not wanting to go down. Let's see, if I get it in the right spot, that would be a good thing. There we go. Okay. All right, my last step is I grabbed some mild liners so that I can fill in, add a little bit more color. And then when I'm at school, I use it to kind of make check boxes. Again, I would show you, but I've got stuff that I don't wanna show on this video in there but that way I can just check it off. So this pink is not gonna match perfectly, but you know what? I'm gonna be okay with that. Today, not today, Monday, tomorrow is just gonna be a pink day and that will be great. All right, fill this in. I hope everybody's had a good weekend. My weekend has been relatively chill, actually. It's been nice, I've got laundry going, um, there was like a kind of a local sort of 
town type thing going on. My daughter went with a friend. She had a great time. She went today and yesterday. She had one of her friends over for dinner tonight, last night, which was really fun. I got yellow. Hmm, what color do I want to use for this? Maybe, I don't know, this is like the rainbowy. This is kind of that, hmm, maybe I'll use, I don't know what color I'm gonna use. I'm gonna come back to that one. But I'm gonna use this teal color. I really like this teal color. But yeah, it's been just a nice kind of low key weekend, which is nice because I kind of feel like the, the weekends coming up are very, very busy. My daughter auditioned for her next musical, which starts rehearsals this week. So that definitely adds a lot to our calendar with driving to rehearsals and stuff like that. My sister-in-law is coming to visit um, this coming weekend, which is fabulous. She's a lot of fun. So that'll be really awesome. It'll be nice to have Monday off. Yeah, so just kind of lots going on until the end of school, I guess. So I feel like, you know, a million things to do squished into three, <laughs> three-ish weeks. So that'll be interesting. Um, gosh, I am, I'm stuck. I've got pink, yellow, I've got the teal, and I've got the blue. I don't know. What color do I, maybe, I don't know. The pink really doesn't go. So I feel like that's not the, the best choice. I could do yellow. I could just, I'm going to do blue. Wow, that should not have been that hard of a decision, but yet, here we are. It was a tough decision. Anyway, I really would love to make another plan with me this coming week, maybe during the week, playing around in my new planner. I saw that Darshell um, at Books and Planners started playing around in her new The Penny Pages planner, and that makes me wanna play around in mine. It's a different one than she got, but it just playing around with it would be really fun, but we'll see. We'll see how my evenings roll out, if I can get it done, or if it's gonna have to wait till the weekend. All right, my planner for the week at school is finished. I hope everybody has a great week. I'll see you next time. Happy planning.